This is the second video for the 7-2A lesson. So now that we've made some predictions, we're now going to look at some specific examples and try to figure out what's going on. Uh, we are going to do a table for a few of these, um, but we should be able to, by the end of this lesson, not need these. Although if they ask you to do a table, you're still going to do it. Um, and we're filling out a table for y equals uh, negative absolute value of x, which means essentially take the opposite of the absolute value of your x input. Um, you probably want some scratch paper as you go through this that you're going to keep organized. If the table seems really easy to you, then you don't need to do that. Um, I'm going to do it right here. Um, I know some of the values here might be different than the one in Desmos. We'll go back and fix them. Um, so if I take, let's say, negative 2, it would look like this if I were doing the work by hand. So the negative sign on the outside is there. We don't distribute inside of absolute value bars. We're going to go about this very slowly with strict PEMDAS, which is the absolute value of negative 2 is 2. And we're going to bring down the negative sign. So these double negatives don't cancel. We can't pass it inside. We just treat this um, as if, imagine this uh, didn't work. Imagine this was just do this problem and then deal with this stuff that's out in front. Okay. So that means that this is actually negative two. Uh, zero, well, negative zero is still going to be zero. Two, let's try that one. So absolute value of two is two and bring down the extra negative. So negative two. And let's now go to our Desmos graph and we can keep doing this by hand, but let's start to fill some of these in. So we know this is two. We figured out that, uh, sorry, this one was negative two. This one was negative two um, and we got zero. And then what about negative one? Well, negative one plugged in is gonna give you one and then apply the negative out in front is negative one. And positive one plugged in Absolute value of positive 1 is 1, and take its opposite is negative 1. And we get this graph. Um, so we figure out our first transformation, which is that we can flip this graph or reflect it with respect to the x-axis, or y equals 0, or make it open downward is another way to sometimes describe this. Um, and this was, if you wrote down your general form for absolute value of graphs, um, this was our a value. So if a is negative, let's go to the next slide. Um, if the, in summary, a negative a value in this is going to cause it to flip or open downwards, like we saw here. Um, we're going to keep doing this. We're going to keep looking at multiple examples with a, h, and k. Um, we're going to have some nice visuals. Um, without spoiling these problems, if you do have a question, you're wondering how these might work, um, then you might open up a trusty blank Desmos graph and type them in here. But don't overuse this. Um, but this could be something that if you're wondering about something that isn't explicitly addressed in the activity, uh, you want to see something with lots of transformations, um, then by all means, go ahead and do that. 